the Ukrainian ambassador to the United Nations, Yuri Sergeyev, has called a referendum set to take place in Crimea on Sunday staged and says that many ethnic groups within the peninsula will not participate. Ukrainians and locals in Crimea, especially minority Tatars and Ukrainians, are concerned about what will happen after the vote. The chief rabbi of Ukraine voiced his concerns too. You have to realize Ukraine is, is in a state of war. You know, the, the country was invaded. People are worried. And I'm telling you today, this morning, I got a call from my community in Padol, in Kiev, right? They said, this guy was attacked last night, but we're not worried about that. We're worried about what's going to happen at the referendum. We're worried about what's going to happen on Sunday. That's what people are worried about now. That is occupying everybody's mind now. What is <clears throat> Russia going to do next? What, where will they stop? Will they go back? That's what people are worried about. Protesters, many of them Tatars, turned out on Friday in various towns across Crimea to protest against the referendum on whether Crimea should leave Ukraine and become part of Russia. The EU and US say the vote violates the constitution of Ukraine and international law. This is what local Tatars had to say about the referendum. First, they must remove the troops so that here we don't see any Cossacks or hired thugs who are well-known criminals. Once they leave, we will be able to sit down and have a normal conversation with normal people. And this lady was even more vocal. Putin, go home. We want peace in our country. Ukraine is in Ukraine. Crimea is Ukraine. Crimea isn't Russia. Go home with your soldiers. Not referendum. No. I worry not only about what might happen to these soldiers after the referendum, but also about the whole Crimean population and the Crimean Tatars in particular, who have become hostages in these political games. All this initiated by Putin, the vampire and the plague of the 21st century. Ukrainian armed forces in Crimea are being harassed and blockaded in their bases by mass gunmen and Russian soldiers wearing no identifying insignia, but often driving military trucks with Russian license plates. About 20 kilometers south of the capital, Simferopol, Ukrainian soldiers barricade the back of the 36th Coastal Defense Brigade base in Perevalne, while heavily armed and massed soldiers stand outside the gate. Colonel Yuri Mamchur, who became a national Ukrainian hero two weeks ago when he marched unarmed with several of his men to face armed Russians, had this to say. Being under constant pressure from the military personnel of the Russian Federation Armed Forces, local population and the local authorities, we have an order instruction to hold on, not to respond to provocations and not to use weapons. With the vote just hours away, people are already trying to gauge Russia's moves, even though patience is clearly wearing thin.